Just a few days ago, cars were traveling down this road. Within the next few days, the water will likely be way over my head. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is once again preparing for potential record flooding along the Red River of the North. For the third straight year, the National Weather Service is forecasting major flooding along this river, which serves as the border between Minnesota and North Dakota. The Corps has a long history of supporting flood fighting efforts here. The Corps has provided assistance to communities that helped save lives, prevented suffering, or mitigated damage to public property. The cities of Moorhead and Fargo and the surrounding townships, Oxbow, have uh, done extraordinary measures already. Uh, because they fight floods every year and they've done permanent measures and we're bringing that last minute stop gap to help them prepare and, and prevent uh, catastrophic losses. The Corps is working with more than 20 communities in both states. That help includes technical engineering assistance, temporary emergency levy construction, and supplies like sandbags and polyurethane. Once the river gets to a point where it really needs that secondary containment. We know the Corps of Engineers can quickly get uh, material and labor on the ground and make our uh, contingency dikes right away. They bring peace of mind. The Corps of Engineers St. Paul District set up an emergency field office in Moorhead in late March and is deploying emergency responders to the Red River Basin as the situation develops. Temporary levees are up in the North Dakota towns of Dwight, Great Bend, and Oxbow and will soon be up in both Fargo and Moorhead as well as a number of other Red River communities. The Red is expected to crest in the Fargo-Moorhead area mid-April. Jay Field, Moorhead, Minnesota.